yourselves? Good, I can fix that. <laughs> By talking about physics. So it's my third time here, and I haven't actually talked about physics at all yet. Um, so what I do is, well, I'm a PhD student in plasma physics, um, and I'm working on a project that's focused on nuclear fusion, which is an energy source, the energy source of the future, but it is a nuclear one. It's similar to fission, but with a key difference. Okay, in nuclear fission, you, uh, you take a big heavy nucleus, you split it into two smaller ones, and you get energy released. Sometimes you kill people, but over <laughs> fusion, uh, you take two smaller nuclei, you bring them together, and you get energy as well. The reason you haven't heard any horror stories about fusion is because we don't have it working yet. <laughs> but we're close, so we've been close for 70 years, so we've got to be inching in on it. And what we're trying to do is, uh, essentially you take a donut the size of a church, made of metal, and uh, you hollow out the inside, and instead of pumping it full of custard, you fat bastards, you put it in glass. And you heat it up until it gets about 150 million degrees, and before you know it, the negatively charged electrons, they separate from the positively charged nuclei, and they buzz about and they do their own thing. Um, before long, the nuclei, they collide, and you get fusion. But of course, you're burning a fuel when you do that, so you have to refuel it. And what they do is, they freeze the gas, and they just shoot it, shoot it in like a pea shooter. And hot gas, frozen pellet, it evaporates pretty quickly. And what you get is this gas cloud that surrounds the pellet. And that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in what happens inside that pellet. Okay, boring stuff out of the way. <laughs> Let's talk about terror for a minute. I have a year left, and then I need to get a job. <laughs> I have no idea what I want to do. It's not academia. PhD has taught me that much. Um, I'm not doing academia. In fact, I'm not even going to go into software, which is the next obvious choice. Because computers are the ultimate grammar Nazi. Every last comma, every full stop, every bracket, every last instance of spelling, punctuation, grammar that is not perfect is accounted for, and fuck does it get annoying. <laughs> If you've never worked with computer code, you might not understand why this is a problem. So let me express this in a way that maybe you can sort of relate to, okay? Here's a couple of phrases that you've probably never heard before, but you can kind of interpret in your own way. If I say to you, he's got duck's legs, you know he's short, right? Because duck's legs, short. If I say, he's not two hands higher than a clock in a hen, you know he's really fucking short. These are all Northern Irish phrases, so if they sound a bit farm-based, that's why. <laughs> And my mother's favorite one, sure, is two eyes on a goat. I don't know what she means. <laughs> Which, of course, means definitely or certainly or something like that, right? So, for example, sure, is two eyes on a goat, a computer would shit the bed if you heard it. Because they can't extrapolate, they can't assume information, it's all very literal. And they will get it wrong, and fuck, is that annoying? Because they just like to tell you in great big red letters right across the screen in technobabble jargon, all this technical information, and if you're anything like me, you interpret that as, your shit, Kyle, give up. <laughs> so after several years of emotional abuse at the hands of a computer, <laughs> I have decided to personify it. Because it's very hard to hate a computer, but it's very easy to hate a computer that's out to get you. <laughs> Might seem like a bit of a jump, but I think it's, it's pretty real. So it kind of feels like, um, I think kidnapped by a villainous version of Wilson from Castaway. <laughs> and I think you can see why that's the case because, well, Tom Hanks spent four years struggling alone using obscure skills that he never planned on using again and having pointless arguments with inanimate objects. That sounds like a fucking PhD to me. <laughs> and don't worry guys, okay, I'm not crazy. Right, I'm not, not, I haven't named my computer, but I know it fucking hates me. I know it hates me because I can't be this bad at my job. I know it hit. No, do you know what? Let's name it. Let's call it Hal. That seems about right, doesn't it? Because one of these days, it is gonna fear for its life. One of these days, I'm gonna go fucking postal over a laptop. One of these days, I'm gonna pick up that machine, walk to the stairwell, and chuck it down five flights of stairs. And while it's falling, I'm gonna be laughing. And when it does hit the ground, when it does hit the ground, when the keys are scattered across the ground, when the wires are stretched out for all to see, whenever the screen is some shattered, reflected visage of my own sanity,